Okay, so just a few hours ago, as you can see, the January preview and roadmap just came out. Um, they are going to release, obviously, the ghouls, ghoul stuff for the vampiric undead, uh, engineer, miners, walker, and drill for the dwarves, which I'm a little excited about the drill. Uh, I, I don't know how, how I feel about how it looks, but um, this was uh, a vehicle that I had my eye on from the very beginning uh, when I was collecting my dwarves. I have a plan for them. I'm going to get berserkers, put them in there, ambush with this drill, jump out with berserkers, and yeah, just go to town with berserkers so they can get in there. And um, so I'm finally getting the, uh, the assault drill, and so I'm pretty pleased about that. Miners are another assault, the very good assault group, but they're, uh, they're more shooty, I think, than they are hand-to-hand, uh, -hand, which kind of makes it a waste for uh, them maybe being able to ambush so close. But I guess they can ambush close and just make sure that they get their target in. But the drill is the real ambusher here. In fact, I may put aside my jetpack guys uh, to have this in there. Uh, I'm not a big believer in having more than one ambushing unit. And this one is the most versatile because the jetpack, jetpack are amazing. They have absolutely mauled every single game that I played. And uh, that'll, that'll be a tough one to put away, but uh, I really would like to see this one in action. As for the Vampiric Undead, I haven't been able to get into it mainly because I've been so busy building other things. I've been building shells, cases, dwarves, and uh, so I have not set up an army for Vampiric Undead. And I am very curious of what they're going to do. I mean, we're going to find out next month because this is the April's the last month for the Vampiric Undead. And so I wonder which one is going to be Please, 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 one-page rules. I would like Wood Elves, be perfectly honest. Um, that was uh, a fantasy army. That was the original fantasy army that I wanted to play in the very beginning. I guess the whole Legolas thing, you know, when when uh, Lord of the Rings came out. This is when I started really getting into fantasy stuff, and I, I got Warhammer Fantasy. So I'm hoping for Wood Elves. I ended up with getting a, an army of High Elves, which I have to this day. And of course I have the Empire and I can get the Vampiric here. But uh, Wood Elves would be a nice thing. It makes sense that they would have a evil army and then a good army or a neutral army. Neutral-ish. So we'll see what happens next month when they come out with the updates. But the High Elf Fleet's super excited. Here's a picture of... The, uh, one of their concept arts, which looks amazing. Super excited about that. But there's one thing in here that they kind of glossed over, and if you, you're just skimming through it, you would have missed it. But right here, their first resin-centric modular terrain, and it's going to be a small forest. So I'm wondering if we're looking at hedges, bushes, um... Hedges for hedgerows would be awesome for World War II. I would break out my Flames of War in a second to, to play this. I'm hoping that they have hedges. That would be awesome. Uh, that would make sense for forest small. That they would have some small trees, mostly bushes and hedges. And uh, yeah, that that would make me super, super happy. But on page rules, why could we not have a picture? Uh, the... Uh, they describe it here. Let me see if I could find it. We'll be releasing our first two terrains. Forest small terrain is designed with resin printing in mind with these modular pieces can be combined to create a large variety of woodland layouts. Not a lot of information there, so uh, I would love to see a picture of what they're talking about. Just a hint. Just just give us an idea of what we're, we're dealing with here. Uh, the suspense is killing me. So, yeah, this is uh, what's coming out in January, this stuff right here. And then I believe they talked about the 
um, Vampiric Undead, they're going to get the Corpse Master. This is what might get me into the Vampiric Undead, and that's zombies. I want to see what these zombies look like. Um, that's... I don't know why, but it's just cool to have just a horde of zombies and then just have another army just chop right through them and they're just getting swarmed by zombies. So uh, zombies, corpse wagon, that definitely should go along with zombies. They got the vampire lord on steed, which is strange. I would have thought that they would have done that when they brought out the vampire cavalry. But I guess they're going to... I don't know, where this is... Uh, what, third month in? And no real cavalry? This is going to be our second wagon. And there's no skeleton cavalry, no vampiric cavalry. That's got to be coming uh, soon. Uh, probably in February. But uh, yeah, so we've got, finally, we've got the zombies coming through. And for the dwarves, Guild Lord. I thought Guild Lord was one of the regular lords. I guess they're making a special model for the Guild Lord. This was something that I was curious about because according to my calculations, they only had three more models um, on the list. And so the veterans and the uh, snipers and the monster tank, the fortress they're calling it. And those are the only three that I, I could account, but they're going to make a Guild Lord, which makes a fourth one and um, yeah, so um, I'm a little uh, bummed that they're going down to four models um, for the dwarves. They've, they've done that the past couple of months. I know I've complained about it before, but having four models again instead of three, I was really worried because the this fortress tank is supposed to be really big. So that's going to take up a big slot, and then the guild lord's going to fill the hero slot. And that's it. That's that's all they gave us here. Uh, we can go down to, let's see. Yeah, so there's just uh, other updates. But uh, that's the, the big news there of what we're getting. I don't think I did an update when they announced the High Elf fleets coming to Grim Dark Future and uh, how excited I was about that. But it is... Um, it's, it's going to be an interesting time to get to the High Elf Fleets. The Dwarves are, are pretty much done. They, um, let's see, so we're going to get this in January, and then the last month is February, yeah. And then we go into High Elf Fleets. So, yeah, keep uh, checking out uh, One Page Rules. Keep supporting them. They are doing good work and keeping the hobby where I believe it should be. It's, uh, they're, they're, hopefully they're making enough money to uh, make themselves happy, but they're making it very uh, accessible to the rest of us, which I really do appreciate. So thank you again to One Page Rules. I enjoy watching your updates, and I can't wait to see what you have in store for the podcast. Show us the, the trees. Show us the forest. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.